what stood out to you about how Gonzaga was able to make some adjustments after halftime? Uh, you know, it's just just like any other game. You know, you're going to go into your halftime. Uh, you're going to make make the things you need to work on. You know, everything everything's not going to go right for us. Uh, so obviously, they made their adjustments. It worked out. You know, they brought out the smaller lineup, which they didn't uh, first off. And obviously, you know, it worked out really well for them. So uh, credit to Coach Few and uh, you know the rest of the team came out and executed. Was this one of those games where uh, Coach Miller is going to refer to uh, the shots being too quick in some of the possessions? Yeah, I mean, um, you know, it, it's not so much that it was too quick. You know, at the end of the day, we're a fast-paced team. You know, we're going to have our, our quick shots. Were, were all of them smart shots? No. But at the end of the day, you know, we're, we're still a team. You know, we're going to make mistakes. Um, and, you know, if, if you really look at it, like, you know, we just we shot the ball poorly. You know, those, those, t those type of days are, are going to come. You know, Nico shot amazing throughout the whole entire season. You know, it's, a, it's, just, it's just one of those games. And, uh, you know, we'll fix it. We'll work on it. But at the end of the day, we had good looks. We took them, and they just didn't drop. What do you say to Nico after a night like tonight? Just, just keep his head up. You know, he might not have uh, hit his shots, but at the end of the day, I think he played good defense. You know, I look at it uh, this year, and I think he stayed in front of his point, the, the point guard very well. And, um, you know, just take away the positives of the game and uh, give him credit. He'll come back next week and be you know, work on his game and be ready for um, St. John's. Josh, man, you know Nico as well as anybody. I mean, do you think he, I mean, since that back injury, I mean, it just seemed like he hasn't been quite the same shooting-wise anyway. I know he took some tough ones today, but do you think he's just been a little off or confidence, or is he still hurting maybe a little? Um, you know, we have a great training stuff. You know, we have a great uh, doctor training stuff. So I, I'm sure they made made um, made the adjustments they needed to for Nico. But at the end of the day, you know, that's I, I can't answer that question. I don't, I don't know. I don't know how his back feels. So, um, you know, that's one of the questions you would have to ask for Nico. But at the end of the day, he's been putting in work, and it was just one of those days. Steve, how do you think the front court did against theirs? I mean, they they have a great front court tonight uh, as a team. We didn't play as good as we needed to to get the win, and um, all credit to Gonzaga. I mean, they have great coaching staff, great players, and uh, they executed really well tonight. You didn't, shoot, you didn't shoot the ball obviously well, but you still had a chance. What does that say about you guys? Uh, I mean, uh, you know, we didn't shoot the ball. But we shot the ball well from the free throw line, um, and you know, I think if we take anything out of the game, you know, at the end of the game, you know, we didn't give up at all. I think we're down how many points? Like ten. 12 points, and you know it, it showed how hungry our team is. Uh, obviously, we didn't come out on top, but at least we came out fighting. And you know, it just shows that you, you know we're just going to come out, battle next week, and practice, be competitive, get ready for St. John's. You know, we can't dwell on the past now. Gonzaga, great team, well, great, really well coached. Uh, just up to us now to make our adjustments and come out on Saturday and play well. What do you think about the, the just challenge personally, rebounding wise? It seemed like you really responded, uh, you know, and also put back a lot of your teammates' shots. And, and that was talked about a lot going in. I mean, did you have a specific, uh, you know, maybe more motivation more than normal for this game and, and rebounding? I know I didn't have a, as good of a game uh, against Omaha, and I think that I really just needed to uh, bounce back and uh, get back to playing uh, more physical. Uh, good credit to my teammates because, you know, they were uh, boxing out, especially on the defensive end, allowing me to get some easy rebounds. But, I mean, yeah. Were they as physical as anybody you played this year? Oh yeah, I mean they're they're definitely a physical older team, and uh, they are really uh, intelligent and uh, uh, smart in what they do. But uh, I I would say uh, Baylor was a more physical game uh, inside than Gonzaga. Yeah, or even like Illinois, how would you compare them inside to, to Kofi Coburn and those guys? Yeah, Kofi Kofi's a great player. I mean, he's a he's a big strong guy, and uh, I mean he's he's definitely tough to push out of there. But I mean. These guys were were different. I mean, they're they're a lot smarter and uh, older, so they know what they're doing. So, uh, where do you guys go from here? Well, we have practice on Monday. Yep. All right. Thanks, guys. Thank you.